So what would possibly inspire a large group of people to run in the dead of winter wearing only their undies? It's a good cause, and it's happening in 15 major cities around the world to try to raise awareness for a, a very rare disease, which is known as NF. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, has the explanation in this week's Human Factor. What would compel thousands of people to run a mile in their underwear in the middle of winter? They are raising money to help this man. Drew Leathers, and many others like him who suffer from neurofibromatosis, or NF. It causes non-cancerous tumors to grow in the body. Drew grew up in the suburbs of Atlanta, and when he was 16, he was diagnosed with this rare disease. By the senior year of high school, the pain was a, a daily experience for me. By the time he was 23, the tumors were so bad, he says, he was no longer able to walk. Little was known about the illness, or how to treat it. Drew's struggle inspired his brother Chad to do something drastic. He gave up a successful graphics company and joined the Children's Tumor Foundation to raise money and awareness for NF. To see a life that you see so promising being stripped away, you know, it, the only thing to do is to reach out and do your best to try to find a solution and educate other people about it. Four years ago, the Cupid's Undie Run was conceived. The first event held in D.C. raised approximately $10,000. Now the event has gone international, and race officials say more than $1.3 million will be raised this year. At 25, Drew is benefiting from his brother's efforts. After being bedridden for years, he's in a clinical trial that uses a cancer drug to shrink those tumors. He has less pain, he's out of bed, drives a car, and he plans to go back to school next fall. The fact that we have an option to stem the tide of that suffering in any way makes it the most important thing I can do with my life. And Drew gives a lot of credit to his brother and their friends who are working to help him and others suffering from NF. Through all of this, you know, he's just been a stalwart. He's been so strong. He's had such faith. And it has been because of the community that's been around him. You know, uh, Soledad, I, I love the story. It's, it's two brothers, you know. They, they're just uh, such good friends. And they, uh, they just took such great great care of each other. Uh, but NF's pretty rare, as I mentioned, about 1 in 30,000 children are born with it, and it can have a wide variety in terms of the types of complications. You notice he's in a wheelchair, it affects the nerves, it can cause disfigurement in some cases, but there are clinical trials like the one Drew is now in. Well, it's good for them, good for him to take care of his brother. Appreciate that, Sanjay, thanks. Yeah. Gonna take a break, endpoints up next.